Welcome to uh, La Paz University Hospital. My name is Jose Luis Merino. I am the chief of the Robotica Arrhythmia Unit here in, in, in Madrid. We are very grateful uh, having you today with us. La Paz Hospital, in fact, is uh, one of the largest hospitals in, in, in Spain, one of the oldest, and it is uh, the most uh, reputed uh, hospital in, in Spain. It's ranked number one. Also, the cardiology department is always uh, considered the best uh, cardiology department in, in the country. It's a large hospital with uh, 1,300 uh, 1, beds and different buildings. And uh, we have a population uh, around 1 million uh, people that we need to cover. But in addition to that, we also have a patient referred from other uh, nearby centers. So it's a, a, a large hospital with a lot of activities. The arrhythmia unit of the, the arrhythmia department is an uh, old one also in, in, in Spain. We, it was funded in the year 1994. And since then, uh, we started with just one lab. But now we have three labs, uh, two for adults, uh, one for uh, pediatrics. And uh, an additional, uh, we have another uh, small lab for device implantation. We have, uh, at, at the moment, uh, four staff working, so we are planning to have more people in, involved in the near future. Hello, I am Carlos Escobar. I am part of, I am staff of the, of the unit. And what I do is implant an expert of insertable halter, pharmacological tests, and also electrical cardioversion. I'm Dr. Omar Arrazo, I'm cardiac surgeon, and in our pacing unit, we perform all kinds of lead implants techniques, including ICDs, subcutaneous ICDs, uh, simple and difficult cases of lead implants, uh, leadless pacemaker implants, as well as we have a course of, of uh, difficult lead extraction techniques which usually we perform from, as a reference center for all Spain. I am Sergio Castrejon. I have been vinculated to the robotic EP unit almost its uh, origin uh, 11 years ago. Uh, currently, I, well, I am of the members of the staff in this unit and we are mostly interested in three aspects. First of all, the electrophysiological characterization and ablation of arrhythmias, both atrial and ventricular, dependent on, on complex uh, substrates. In the second place, a clinical follow-up daily or close uh, of patients with advanced uh, systems of home monitoring on long-term uh, ECG monitors to detect subclinical arrhythmias. And in the third place, we lead or take part on a, a multi-center clinical trials and studies of uh, novel or anticoagulant, anticoagulant drugs, uh, new antiarrhythmics, and new techniques of mapping and ablation of complex atrial arrhythmias. We have uh, uh, are roughly around 600 procedures, ablation procedures per year. We are doing uh, all kinds of procedures, uh, complex procedures, BT ablation, I feel ablation, atypical flutter ablation. In fact, atypical flutter ablation is one of our uh, fields that we have worked more in, in, in the past. Also, we do congenital heart disease patients and pediatric patients. In terms of uh, uh, the equipment that we have, we have uh, state-of-art equipment for everything. We have uh, all, uh, all uh, 3D mapping system. In fact, probably we have uh, even, uh, probably we are the, the most equipped lab in the world because we have, uh, uh, of course, inside for, for Nabot, uh, we also have Carto, Rhythmia, but also we have the Columbus system for microport. So, we have all of them and several, several units. We also have a remote navigation system that is the, the one for marketers. Maybe you can see it in the background. And also the Amigo system that is uh, also a robotic uh, one. In addition to that, of course, uh, cryo console, laser console, 
uh, intercard uh, co-cardiogram. So uh, all the state uh, of our uh, technology. In terms of re research, uh, we have a, a very active uh, program of uh, research, uh, both in, uh, in terms of uh, EP. Uh, we are working presently in high power short duration. It's uh, our main uh, uh, target now. But we are also working in, in other fields like uh, devices and drugs. We are participating in several multicenter trials about different drugs, uh, different antiarrhythmic drugs in the past uh, anticoagulants as well. And uh, we are involved in also in multicenter trials with uh, uh, both at the national and international uh, level. This is a large hospital with a long tradition of uh, education. So we are training uh, physicians to become uh, cardiologists, of course. But in addition to that, we have a, a, a training program, an education program in, in EP. So we have fellows, uh, mostly coming from Latin America, but also from other parts of uh, Spain. Uh, in addition to that, we conduct uh, some activities of education. We have a local symposium for uh, cardiologists uh, in about atrial fibrillation, the several aspects of uh, atrial fibrillation, clinical aspects, ablation, drugs, and, and so on. So we are really oriented about education, and this is why uh, probably you are seeing this video, because we also collaborate with some companies like Abbott in, uh, for uh, some uh, educational courses like the EP curriculum. The EP curriculum is a, a program that, uh, I, in fact, I don't remember, but I think that is probably 10 years since we started working uh, in this program, since the beginning. It's a very successful program and uh, many uh, colleagues have uh, visited uh, our center within this program and I think that is uh, very exciting because they, they have the chance to see not uh, just uh, to receive just uh, theoretical information but also practical training see how things work in the, in the real arena, in the in regular life, because not always is so easy. So, and also this uh, gave us the opportunity to interact with our colleagues from other countries. And uh, we also have a uh, close relation with many of them after uh, coming to our center to visit us within this program. So we are really excited to keep our collaboration with Abbott in, in this uh, successful program. So uh, thank you for, for being today uh, with us and uh, we are, you are really welcome to our unit, our center. Thank you.